The following interview was conducted with Mary Lou Seifker for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on September 23, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in Purdue Memorial Union on Homecoming Day. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Could you start by telling me when you graduated from Purdue and what you studied? I graduated from Purdue in 1968, and my major was interior design. Mm -hmm. And where are you from originally? I'm from Salem, Indiana, and now I live in Seymour, which is Jackson County. Mm -hmm. And do you often come back for homecoming? Not as often as I like. If it's uh, the weekend we have the leadership conference, I'm normally here. Mm -hmm. So you were here specifically for the leadership conference? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And was there anything notable about the leadership conference this year? There really was. A lot of new people, a lot of new ideas. It was very well handled. Uh, I appreciated the information they had to share. I thought it was all very noteworthy, and it ought to help our our clubs grow across the nation. Mm -hmm. Are you active in the Purdue Alumni Association? Yes, I'm past president of the Jackson County Purdue Club. Mm -hmm. uh, I was here yesterday with the club, and then last night I was fortunate enough to receive the Boilermaker Pride Award. Mm -hmm. So that was very humbling and a great honor. But the real honor goes to all those who helped make our club grow, which was what I think the uh, award probably is about, but there are so many people on campus who work with us and help us and answer questions, guide us, other clubs through the leadership conference, and just people that we know who are involved share so much information that really give us an opportunity to help make our clubs grow mm -hmm. and uh, share the love of Purdue to everybody. Well, congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh -huh. Do you remember the first time you ever visited Purdue? I sure do. I visited Purdue when I was in 4-H. I was a sophomore in high school. At that time, I had no idea that I would ever go to college. I had no idea what college was even about. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That was back in 1961, probably. So many, many, many years ago. Uh, when I came to campus, I fell in love with the campus, um, and I said, I want to go to school here, not knowing for sure what I would study, but I thought certain that I wanted to get a degree and teach home economics because of the teachers that I had in high school. Mm -hmm. So that was my first experience, and it was uh, such a beautiful campus, even though it's totally different now than it was back then. Um, it, uh, it, it was just a, an eye-opening experience to see what was available here and uh, then work toward being able to come here once I did graduate. Mm -hmm. So when I graduated, there were two from my class that went to Purdue. There were 126 or 128 in my class. Uh, I'm the only one who stayed here and finished. Um, I don't know if I could even qualify in today's world because... Um, it, it's just such a great institution and has such great requirements to even be able to come here to study. Mm -hmm. uh, the internet and uh, technology has done so much to uh, help people grow and learn and, and know more about the world than we ever had the opportunity to do. Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty amazing. It is. Would you say there's been a lot of change to Purdue since you were a student? An unbelievable amount of change. Uh, when I was here, my tuition was either $75 a semester or $150 a semester. So that tells you a lot right there. There was uh, a lot less... Um, uh, uh, area covered with all the buildings and beauty, beautiful architecture and, and plantings that there are now. Um, I was walking through campus with a friend this morning, and we both said that it's just amazing to see how the, the university has grown and all the new buildings. And like uh, Mitch Daniels said last night at our celebration reception, it seems like every day we're opening a new building, dedicating a new building. 
so it is amazing how much it, where I lived when I was on campus. I lived uh, on Salisbury Street. That's now an apartment mil- building, I believe. Where mm-hmm. I lived on University Street across from the Home Act 2 building is now the Marriott building. So it's just phenomenal the way this university has grown. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure how many more students there are now, but I would guess at least double what was here when we were here. When we were here, most of the students were housed on campus or close by, Mm -hmm. maybe in houses along Sean Searwood or Salisbury, some of those streets, but today they're brought in from across West Lafayette and Lafayette, and there's a bus system that takes everyone. When we were here, they didn't have the bus system. Mm-hmm. So it's amazing to see the difference, and it's such a heartwarming uh, thing to walk through the campus and between the buildings and through the green spaces and really appreciate and enjoy the growth of the university. Mm-hmm. What are your favorite places on campus? Oh my goodness, that's one I really would have difficulty answering right now. Um, The library was very important when I was here. I love the library, and today I even love books so much that I have books all over my house. So I I always love the library. I love the union. Um, I love walking through campus. Uh, There's not any one certain space that I, I love more than another. Uh, other than you could put the library at the top. But there's there are just so many places that are so noteworthy in today's world. Mm-hmm. What do you think has stayed the same about Purdue over the years? I think, I think the closeness that people who have gone to Purdue have. It's, it's the Boilermaker pride. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that... Uh, we have a chance to to share so much of what we learned here uh, about people, not just through our classes, but about our interact with our interactions. That's uh, just a great thing to look back on. Mm-hmm. Were you a member of any clubs as a student? You know, I really was not that involved in clubs as a student. The one thing I was involved in was mock. P, which is was a mock political convention. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people haven't even heard about it, but what happened was every few, few years prior to the national political conventions, Purdue would have a mock political convention and try to come up with a candidate. Mm-hmm. And if I remember correctly, quite often that candidate would mirror the candidate or candidates that were uh, selected in the national elections. Mm -hmm. Um, I was a freshman when they had Mock P, and uh, we had meetings, we talked about possible political candidates, and then we would go out and campaign campaign across campus. We would go to the other dorms and carry our signs Mm -hmm. and pass out brochures. Uh, Then we met in the field house, I believe it was, for the convention. It was row upon row upon row of delegates to the convention. Each uh, housing unit had their own area, just as states in a, in a political convention would have. And we would, uh, at certain times and when certain things happened, get up and march around the stadium, uh, chanting for our favorite uh, uh, possible candidate. So mm-hmm. that was a really exciting time and uh, very enlightening time. Mm-hmm. Did your candidate win? You know, I don't even remember that. I just remember the excitement of, of the event and the excitement building up to it and the, the studying we went through and the meeting we went meetings we went through to select candidates for our particular area and uh, the camaraderie of everybody working together to uh, get the knowledge necessary to take to the convention to be able to nominate the candidate we thought should be nominated. It's a wonderful memory. <laughs> Do any other specific memories come to mind when you think about those days? Well, I can remember the day that uh, Purdue had a very big snow 
and uh, it was the first day classes had been camp canceled on campus for weather. I guess in 50 years or so. Mm-hmm. So that I don't know why I remember that day, but I, I do. Maybe because we didn't have class that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And since we had heard that it had been so many years since class, classes had been canceled. And I also remember on that day there was a red Corvette driving on State Street, and it got totaled because it slid on the ice and uh, ran into something. I don't even remember what. Mm-hmm. But that's that's a strange memory. But uh, it was a great, great experience to uh, be able to be on campus and uh, just interact with others. Nice. What dorms did you live in on campus? I started out in State Street Courts as a freshman, and I guess that should be mem- my most memorable thing about the university. Uh, the day I checked in, I had a young man who uh, had not come for orientation during the summer, so he had to come on campus early for orientation, and after their orientations, uh, State Street Courts uh, had both men and women. It was co-ed, the only co-ed around, I think, at that point. And so those that went through orientation uh, on campus there just before classes started had to help the women move into the dorms. Hmm. Well, uh, this young man helped me move into the dorm, and uh, years later uh, we did get married. And uh, we've been married for over 50 years now. So I guess that should be a very memorable event. It sounds memorable. (laughs) That's his main story he tells about life on campus. Mm -hmm. That's where he met me. So. what is his name? His name is Dale. And he uh, has a double degree in uh, industrial supervision and industrial illustration technology, I believe. Mm -hmm. So he also is a Purdue grad. A wonderful story. Thank you. Do you have any other um, stories or memories, thoughts that you would like to share? Well, I'd like to share something of, uh, about someone in your alumni association working with the uh, alumni association through our Jackson County Purdue Club. We have had so many people that have helped us communicate and uh, connect with our alumni and friends in Jackson County Mm -hmm. and Cindy Robertson has been a total jewel. We've had others who have been great. We've had board members who have been great. The support that we get as a club from the Alumni Association has been heartwarming. We don't always get what we want when we want it but we we find answers to some of our solutions that uh, take a little longer than they might but we work towards solutions and don't give up, mm-hmm. but uh, we are just so impressed with what the Alumni Association does to support our club and our alumni in the area. That uh, all I can say is thank you to all of them. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for talking with me today. Well, it's uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you, and good luck in this endeavor.